Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. And now today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new Lululemon Large Slouchy Sling Bag 13 Liter. I'm gonna be showing you guys some stuff this can hold, letting you know my experience with it so far, if I'm liking it or not, and more. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this bag in the color black, but it did come out in some other colors as well, which you could see on screen. And the current price as of recording is $108 Canadian and $98 American. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys on this bag is the logos. So the first logo you'll see is right at the front here. And it's kind of like a, it's a matte black plastic type of logo. It does look quite nice. It's definitely more discreet, more low key. If you come over to the back, you can see this little Lululemon kind of stitched on here. And on the zipper pulls of the bag, it says Lululemon here as well. So now I'm gonna show you guys all around and inside this bag. So this is the front of the bag here. At the front of the bag, we do have zippers that go along the sides, on both sides. And they do hold a good amount and they go kind of right to the bottom of the bag here. Good amount of storage space here. We have this on both sides. At the very top of the bag, there is a zipper that spans the width. And here is the inside of the bag. So inside the bag here, we do have divided mesh pockets, some large ones here. So we have two, one here, one on the other side. On the other side of the bag, there is zippered storage. You can also see a little Lululemon here. So a zippered pocket here for more storage. This say items of importance, a nice cute message. This pocket here does not span the entire width of the bag. It goes about my hand's width down. So at the back of the bag, we do have a drop-in pocket here. And it has a button to kind of close it, which is nice. And that is just some space that you can put some smaller items in. It does not expand the entire width. Once again, it's kind of like the size of my hand here um, in terms of the depth of it. And it just goes right here. You can kind of see an indent of where this pocket does go. And all right, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. And all right, guys, this is what it looks like on me. And this is right now at the shortest length it will go. And now I'm gonna extend the length to the full length so you guys can see what that looks like as well. It does have a continuous loop strap, which is fantastic. It also adjusts very easily and quickly. And what I'm finding so far is when I do adjust it to a certain length, it will stay in place. It doesn't loosen on itself. And all right guys, so this is the bag with the strap fully extended. And with it fully extended, I can put it right across my body here. And I am finding it pretty comfortable to wear. It is nice and lightweight as well. You can technically wear it as a belt bag depending on your waist size, but it is ridiculously big. So I wouldn't recommend it. But you guys are always asking if things to be worn like belt bags, yes. I'll show you guys what it looks like on me right now as well. All right guys, so here's what it looks like as a belt bag. Absolutely ridiculous, it's huge. I would not wear it this way, but technically it's possible. All right guys, hope you found it helpful seeing me try this on today. And now I'm gonna go into the major feature highlights about this bag. This bag is great for on the go and casual wear, shopping, travel, work, and more. It has a large 13 liter capacity that can hold all of your essentials and much more. It's made of a water repellent fabric that can keep your items dry in light rain or snow. It has a continuous loop crossbody strap that is adjustable and I've gone ahead and put the max and minimum strap lengths on screen for you. It has multiple pockets for organization. It's lightweight to use and the dimensions of this bag are 17.7 inches by 4.9 inches by 15.4 inches. So it does have a couple of zippers here. As I showed you guys, we have those sides zippers as well as the one going across the top I'm just gonna show you guys you know demo of them in my experience so far they have been working pretty well I will say these side pocket ones can be a little tricky when you are going over the corner here sometimes it does stick this one's better than this one is so you really have to kind of hold it to get it to go over they do work well they don't catch but you kind of have to put some resistance there to get those ones to close. Now, for this pocket here, nice and smooth. And the inside one is good as well. So the zippers so far, for me, have all been great on this bag. No hiccuping, no catch or anything like that, which is great. And something that is kind of crucial for a bag, especially one at this price point. Here's a tag for anybody interested in this information here.
And all right guys, now I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold, what I would typically put inside of my sling bag. Now, whenever I have a bag this big, I do like to try to fold up my jacket in there. For example, if I'm like walking around the mall, it's always so hot, <laughs> so I usually take off my jacket and I like that this has enough room to store it. So I have right now a folded up, always effortless jacket. I'm gonna put that in the inside of the bag, right in the middle there. Next thing I'm gonna put in this bag is a book. So I do have a book with me. This bag is big enough to fit, I think, most size books. The next thing I'm gonna do is pack a water bottle. Now this bag has these nice pockets at the side, and I think they're perfect for water bottles. I have with me a Lululemon Back to Life Sport bottle. Fits in there quite nicely. And I like to try to zip it up a bit more so the water bottle doesn't kind of flop around. It kind of just stays there upright. In the pocket on the other side here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in phone in there. Now I do have a Z Flip 5. It is a pretty long phone. It could fit in there opened like this. And I could even zip it shut. And of course it fits in folded as well. I think this pocket's definitely large enough to fit most phones in it. Coming back over to the inside pocket here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my dual pouch wristlet. And I'm gonna put that in the back pocket, the zippered pocket here. And I also have with me a hand lotion. I'm gonna put that in the mesh pocket. In the other mesh pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some deodorant. And I also have a hand sanitizer I'm gonna put in one of the mesh pockets as well. In addition to that, I have a chapstick I'm gonna put in the mesh pocket here also. So you guys can see how full it is right now. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an umbrella in here. You never know what's gonna rain on the go. And that's everything that I would put inside of the interior pocket here. Now coming over to the back, with the drop-in pocket right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my car keys in there. I'm gonna put a pen in here as well. And finally, some little sticky notes on the go. And that's everything that I would be putting inside of this bag. It does hold a good amount of items. And when it is full, it definitely does look, um, <laughs> you can definitely tell it's full. <laughs> definitely changes the shape a little bit depending on what you put in here because the bag is not very structured. Um, so this is what it does look like full as well from the front and from the back. And all right guys, I just got this one in the mail so I decided to show it to you real quick. This is what is coming up next on the channel, the next Lululemon item I'm reviewing. This is the Slouchy Sling Bag 6 liter. So this is the smaller version of this guy I'm showing you today. This one basically double the capacity. We have 13 liters here, here we have six. So if you're looking for something more compact, you may like this one better. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this bag, as well as doing a more in-depth comparison than between both of these in my coming up review on this. So if you're interested in that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with your post notification bells turned on, because I do drop new videos every single week, and this one is gonna be coming soon. All right, guys, now I'm gonna do a little bit of a size comparison between the Everwear Belt Bag one liter and this slouchy sling bag, because a lot of you guys might have this, but you might not have this yet. A couple of differences here is the capacity of the bag. This has a one liter capacity, and this has a 13 liter capacity. Also, the size is a huge difference. So you guys could see here, <laughs> with the Ever Bump Bag, it kind of fits into a little pocket there. So you can see there's a big difference here when it does come to the size of the bags. Also, when it comes to the width, everything like that, there's just so much more storage space in this bag here. Another big difference is gonna be the price. So the Ever Belt bag here currently goes for 38 American, 44 Canadian, starts off at that price. And this one, as I told you, a lot more, 98 American and 108 Canadian. The Ever Belt bags do come in a lot more color options. You get brighter colors, patterns, prints. This one so far, it is in more basic color options, um, more neutral tones, if you will. There's also a difference in the design. So you guys could see we have a little logo at the side here. We have this one at the top. When it does come to the inside, we do have, you know, a divided mesh pocket here and then a solid one on the other side. Where this one, as I showed you guys, we have a zippered pocket here and then divided mesh pockets on the other side. And this one, of course, we do have those pockets at the sides and just overall so much more storage room. And then coming to the back, you can see we have that drop-in pocket here. And this one, we have a zippered pocket at the back. They are 
different, very different in terms of what they can hold and, then, and the look of them and what you're using them for. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how they stack up and compare size wise and the features they have. Just in case you guys are curious, because I know a lot of people do have the Everwear belt bag, one liter here. And you might be curious about getting this one. And all right, guys, I have noticed some cons about this bag here. So the first con for me is coming in at 108 Canadian with tax, I paid over $120 for this. It's expensive. I definitely think it's overpriced for what you're getting here, which is kind of a basic, you know, sling bag that you're throwing over your shoulder. I do think it has nice capacity and it seems nicely made. I don't love the price here. I do wish that it was a little bit lower for sure. That being said, this bag in particular is selling out really fast. So if you do want it, I would buy it now and not wait on it to go on sale because I honestly think it's gonna sell out before you even get the opportunity to grab it on sale. Another con for me would be, is the strap. So I love that it's continuous loop strap, but the material choice they chose, which is this kind of like slick, smooth material, while it does feel good on your shoulder, if you're kind of, um, you know, if it's touching your bare skin, it's nice and soft, that type of material is very slippery. I prefer to wear it this way, personally. I do find with the strap material being what it is, kind of a slick material. So if you have it on your shoulder and you're walking, it falls off almost immediately. If you're not constantly just holding it there, I do think that they should have used um, like a material underneath the strap, like maybe like a leather type of material or some type of, you know, maybe cottony fabric, something with a bit more grip because it does fall off very easily. And also the strap here has zero padding. So if you are carrying anything heavy in it, if you're holding it in your hand, it does get a bit uncomfortable. Another con for me is that this material here does attract pet hair and lint and crumbs quite easily. So you're gonna have to make sure that you're keeping it, you know, like you're lint rolling it before you use it, stuff like that, especially if you do have a pet like I do. And on the black color here, it's very noticeable. I do like the look of this material that Lululemon uses for their bags in particular, but it does attract that stuff, so keep that in mind. Another con for me is that the bag is extremely floppy and unstructured. As you guys can see, right now it's empty and it doesn't really hold its shape very well. It's just very floppy. <laughs> I would have liked if they had an insert I could put in the bottom to, you know, to keep it straight or if they just kind of made it more structured somehow. And the final con for me is that I do wish that the inside pocket here was bigger. For some reason, they only stop it like about halfway. I do wish that they would have just took the storage here and brought it completely down so it could hold a lot more items in there. I think that was a little bit of an oversight and something that I do find a con. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the comfort, the functionality, the capacity, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this an 8.3 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to pick up the new Lululemon large slouchy sling bag, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. I do read all the comments, so I'll definitely get back to you. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.